Hi, it's me again. Today I'm at a science park in Gashing near Munich, which has very many research institutes. I'm standing in front of the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics and we'll be talking to Stephanie Komosa, who discovered that black holes are being kicked out of their own galaxies. Hi Stephanie. <laughs> Hi Anneli. So you've made this brand new discovery regarding black holes. Can you tell me about it? So what we found is a very massive black hole that is actually being kicked out from, from the center of its host galaxy. So at high, very high speed, it's leaving its host galaxy. So generally you find massive black holes at the cores of galaxies. There's now excellent evidence that almost every luminous galaxy hosts a very massive black hole at its center. Yeah. And the exciting thing about this particular black hole is that it's actually being kicked out, leaving the host galaxy with very high speed. So what kicked it out? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, so there's good evidence that almost every galaxy hosts a black hole right. at its center. Yeah. So assume two galaxies are colliding right. with each other, they are merging, and then we have these two black holes at the center of the newly formed galaxy. Right. So ultimately, also these two black holes would be merging with each other, and in this final phase of merging, um, um, a huge burst of gravitational wave emission is emitted, which is predicted from theory. Okay. And these gravitational waves, generally they go in one direction, and then the black hole is kicked out into the other direction. Okay. That's a prediction from theoretical simulations. Okay. Um, so has, have other galaxies merged before and two, uh, two black holes um, merge also without one of them being kicked out? So, yes, that okay. can also happen, okay. so um, different configurations are possible and under sort of extreme conditions the black hole gets a really high kick velocity and then is being kicked okay. out of the galaxy. Right, okay. So um, we could look at the simulation okay. here. So, so this is um, just an image of a galaxy and if we zoom into the core of this galaxy we see a supermassive black hole there, which is eating up matter from its environment. Mm -hmm. So matter is orbiting with high speed around the black hole. Now, assume there are two black holes and they are just in the process of merging, mm -hmm. then gravitational waves are emitted in one direction and the black hole gets a kick in the other direction and may oscillate around the core of the galaxy and finally, after a long time, settle into the center again. However, if the kick is particularly strong, then the whole black hole leaves its host galaxy. And that is what we have seen now. So what makes the gravitational <coughs> wave kick harder than others? Um, so, so it depends on the actual orbital configurations, the way the two black holes orbit each other, and so on. And depending on that, some kicks are stronger than others. Okay. Um, so, this has never been seen before, that one uh, black hole has been kicked out of its host galaxy? That is the first time that oh. it's actually being observed. So, there oh, okay. has been a lot of theoretical oh, simulations right. and predictions, and of course, in this case, the key question always is, do these events occur in nature? Oh. And so, we are excited that we are actually right. seeing these events in the actual astronomical data. Um, so, how did you discover that? Yeah, we were actually looking um, through a large database, mm -hmm. um, a database of galaxies obtained in the so-called Sloan Digital Sky Survey. They sort of surveyed large fractions of the sky in invisible light okay. and took lots of data. So you have um, good observations of thousands and hundreds of thousands of galaxies. And we were looking through this database to see for unusual events, unusual signatures. Mm -hmm. And that is how we found this particular case. So okay. basically what we are seeing is, um, assume again the black hole first is in the center of the galaxy, there is gas surrounding yeah. that black hole, some gas is being created by the black hole. Now if the black hole is kicked out from the center, some gas will remain bound to the black hole. So the gas which was very tightly bound to the black hole before, that will be kicked out together with the black hole. Okay. However, the remaining gas will just remain in the center of the galaxy. Okay. And the gas which is bound to the black hole, it um, swirls around the black hole at very high speeds. And we can see this spectroscopic signature um, of this gas bound to the black hole. And, and we see that this um, high velocity gas is actually outflowing from the galaxy with about 3000 kilometers per second.
Okay, so what is going to happen to the black hole now it's not in the galaxy anymore? Mm -hmm. Actually, in this case, the velocity of the black hole is so high that would, it will ultimately leave the galaxy. Right. So finally, it will drift through intergalactic space. For quite a while, it will still keep um, accreting or eating the matter which is bound to it. Right. But after a while, all the gas supply will be, will be over. Okay. Well, and so it has run out of fuel and then it will just be a dark black hole in intergalactic space. So what, what will happen to it then? Does it disappear? Mm -hmm. Does it fall apart? Or? It will just sort of exist forever. It will okay. not fall apart. It will not accrete more matter right. when all the supply is, um, okay. is over. It will sort of just wander through intergalactic space. So are there really galaxies with two black holes in the middle? We've actually discovered a pair of massive black holes at the core of, of a single galaxy. Okay. And here you see um, this image of okay. the galaxy. So key question, um, this galaxy has been studied intensely in the past and the key question has always been what happens in its very center. Mm -hmm. And the reason that we cannot tell from this image, which was taken in visible light, is that the center of this galaxy is heavily obscured by gas and dust and visible light cannot penetrate out of the core, just being absorbed um, by these clouds of gas and mm -hmm. dust. However, high energy X-ray radiation can penetrate even large amounts of gas and dust. So in, in high energy X-ray light, we can actually see into the very center of this galaxy. Okay. And um, when, when about a decade ago, a new X-ray mission was launched at Chandra X-ray Observatory, mm -hmm. it, has ve it had very special properties no other X-ray observatory had before. Okay. It had very high spatial resolution. So it could image the sky um, with very high quality. It was like you had some out of focus pair of glasses mm -hmm. and suddenly mm -hmm. if you get a new pair of glasses, yeah. like we used Chandra, you had a clear view of the X-ray sky okay. and in particular also of the cores of galaxies. And so we used the Chandra Observatory to zoom into the core of this galaxy and this okay. is how it looks like in X-rays. And now what you see is a false color representation of the very core of this galaxy. So the energy of the radiation is color coded. Red colors mean low energy okay. and blue colors mean high energy. And what is immediately obvious from this image is the two very bright spots in the center, which this inset also shows. And oh. these two, two regions emit very high energy, very bright X-ray emission. And this is just the very characteristic signature of matter which falls into a supermassive black hole and which heats up strongly when, and which emits this radiation before it finally disappears mm -hmm. into the black hole forever. So we could use X-rays to detect these two um, actively accreting black holes at the center of this galaxy. And we could also look at another animation here, and we see two galaxies um, on collision course with each other interacting heavily. You see these loops of gas and stars. This is how the galaxy looks in visible light we have seen before. Mm -hmm. And then we zoom into the very core of the galaxy, mm -hmm. and now we see the two black holes um, circling each, each other in the core of this galaxy. Each black hole has its own accretion disk, um, accreting matter from its environment. The matter is heated strongly, so they X-ray bright. We can observe them. And in the final phase, the two black holes will also merge with themselves. That okay. is what we see here. Yeah. And then a giant burst of gravitational wave radiation will be released. Well, thank you very much for sharing your new discovery with us and for taking the time to talk to me. My great pleasure. Thanks for your interest.